Hello and welcome back to another video in the series titled Call Me the Amygdala. I hope this finds you well. The goal of this series originally was to find ways to kind of face these experiences that caused me a lot of stress. With my CPTSD, I had noticed the sensitive nature of this peanut-sized bundle of nuclei, and so Calming the Amygdala was created. If you look at this first picture, you'll see exactly where the amygdala can be found over on the right side in an area called the right limbic system. You'll also note that I labeled the left side called the Broca's area and the front lobe called the prefrontal cortex. This picture also shows the kind of steps that it takes from the start, which would be like a trigger of some sort, which could be sight, smell, sounds, feeling, those sorts of things, um, and the pathway that it takes. So I'll give you a second to be able to look at that and to read that in this video. Now, to be clear, the amygdala is a valuable part of your system that you can't really intentionally control. It's one of the first parts of the brain that reacts to danger. So for me, this series of calming the amygdala is more an exercise of spotting real danger versus overthinking and learning ways to regulate. Because there's a very real difference between doing things that are uncomfortable but offers growth and doing things that are uncomfortable because of presently true concerns. Today's uncomfortable action provided by a community member was to stare a cop down as I drove past them. When I first thought of this, my immediate concern was my brain. After my accident in 2022, it took my neurologist close to two years to clear me of a concussion, but even then, I still experience light sensitivity and a few other symptoms to this day. I also, on a daily, experience body pain on the entire right side of my body. So naturally, I hesitated. I thought to myself, is this uncomfortable and leads to growth, or is this uncomfortable because of a true concern? Ultimately, I decided that this is not an action that will serve my future self, as there is very real danger that can come from it. As my good friend Yuri would say, Cars are a way to get from point A to point B, and that's it. If you're out there on the roads, I encourage you to keep these five things in mind. Seatbelts of all passengers, intoxication level of driver, music volume, exhaustion level, and the signs posted. That could be speed limits, that could be left turn only, uh, things of that nature. And through it all, stay you, Stay fly and stay hydrated. Your brain will thank you.